My father's job brought us to various countries. Outside the Greek and Roman big history business, I entered small, poor churches financed by the villagers, not the potent religion mongers. The paintings and statues I saw in such churches, on road shrines and in village fairs, were simple, sincere. The figurines were made of wood or clay, painted over with pigments that would soon crack and partially peel off. Poor art was something I connected to in a different way than the high art in the pantheons of Vaticans and other museums. This poor art was my first step towards my spiritual skies. This is the look, the style I want to dress my work in. The Chernobyl look. In the original movie The Planet of the Apes, the human pilot who travels into the future, without knowing, discovers some children's toys from his time. Simple dolls damaged by decay, with the shine chipped off, with broken limbs. That scene moved me a lot. I was a child when the movie came out, and those dolls spoke of the children caught in the destruction brought on by adults. I get similar goosebumps when I look at photos taken in the Chernobyl village. Homes abandoned by families without knowing at the time that they would never come back. Discarded toys, rotten pages of coloring books left uncolored.